hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about the shorter version of this is fate our june stabbed prita on her stomach but that turns out to be prita's dream and prita comes downstairs and everyone gathered around her and calmed her down then prita tells everyone to promise her that they will stay away from our june because our june is very weird and he's a devil so they have to stay away from him and everyone promised prita that they will not have anything to do with our june so let's continue from there in the Lutra house, Raki is in the in-house temple and she prays to God for her family and she asks God to return Karan to her according to what the priest said. Meanwhile, Aljun and Anjali arrived at the Lutra house and Aljun takes a flower bouquet in his hand and he asks Anjali to wait outside while he would go inside and apologize to everyone for his yesterday's behavior. Aljun moves towards the Lutra house gate and Peter and Raki feel something inside the house. Raki moves towards the door with the prayer tray as if she is about to welcome Karan. Grandma tells Mahesh that it looks like Raki feels that Karan is returning. Mahesh tells Grandma that Raki has not accepted that Karan will not return up till now. Outside the house, the security guard stops Aljun from entering the house, saying that they were given instructions not to allow Aljun to enter the house. Aljun tells the guard that he has to meet Prita, Rishab and Raki and he moves towards the house. Inside the house, Raki mentioned Karan's name standing at the entrance of the door. Mayesh pointed towards Karan's photo that has flower garland on it, indicating that Karan is dead, and Raki drops the prayer plate on the floor and she cries and hugged Mayesh. Outside, the security guard continued to stop Aljun, saying that he is not allowed to enter the house, and the guard shows Aljun's photo to him on the phone as a proof. Aljun, after seeing his photo on the guard's phone, keeps the flower bouquet there and he lives in anger. Aljun goes back to the car and Anjali asks that what has happened. Aljun says that the security guard did not let him enter the house on Rishab's order. Prita was at the window, but she couldn't see Aljun in the car. Aljun looks at Prita and he angrily drove off. Anjali asks Aljun not to get angry and she threatens to call Nidhi and tell her everything that is going on if Aljun doesn't listen to her. Aljun looks at Anjali angrily and he asks her not to test his patience. Aljun and Anjali reaches Rishab's office, but the staffs did not let Aljun enter the office as well, and the guard throws Aljun out of the office as well. Aljun goes back to the car and he was really angry. Anjali says that everything that is happening is because of Aljun's mistake. Aljun also blames Anjali, saying that she also knows about his plans, so why is she blaming him? Anjali says that it was not part of their plan that Aljun would dance with Prita because it was his reckless dance with Prita that got the entire family angry and now Rishab doesn't want him to come close to Prita again. Aljun begins to drive so fast out of anger and he mistakenly hit another car. Aljun asks Anjali to go out of the car and apologize to the owner of the car for the accident but Anjali refused. The driver comes out of the car with an umbrella followed by Rishab and Aljun was shocked that it was Rishab's car he ate. Rishab asks Aljun if he is still drunk from yesterday and that is why he hit his car while driving. Aljun says that he has gone to the Lutra house but the security guard did not let him enter the house and the same thing happened at Rishab's office too. Rishab says that this is what happened if anyone tries to enter someone else's house without their permission. Aljun says that he went to the house only to apologize to him and the entire family for his behavior towards Prita, but the security guard stopped him and the Rishab know who he is. Rishab says that he is very sorry because he forgot that he is Karan and Aljun is shocked to hear that from Rishab. But Rishab says that he meant to say that because Aljun won Karan's cricket property doesn't mean that he would get Karan's rights. Aljun stretched forth his hand and tells Rishab that he wants to be his friend but Rishab shouted at Aljun, saying that he doesn't want to be friend with him and Aljun should leave immediately if he doesn't want to be embarrassed. Rishab turns to leave and Aljun shouted that he just wants them to be friends. Rishab says that he cannot be friends with Aljun because his yesterday's behavior looked like he was taking a revenge on him and his family and Aljun doesn't care about others' emotions and he is not Aljun's brother that he would clean up his mess. Aljun tells Rishab that he is happy that Rishab is not even his brother and Rishab wants Aljun to stay away from his family. Aljun asks Rishab if he loves Prita so much and Rishab angrily holds Aljun's collar and warned him to stay in his limits. 
Haojun says that he is not afraid of Rishab and he threatens him. Anjali takes Haojun away from there and they enter the car. Haojun begins to drive with anger, splashing water on people. And Anjali asks Haojun to drive slowly. But Haojun refused to listen to Anjali and Anjali was forced to shout at Haojun. Haojun stops the car and says that whenever he is thinking, then he doesn't like anyone to disturb him. So Anjali should get out of the car. Anjali refused to get out of the car, saying that she would not leave him alone. Aljun comes out of the car and he drags Anjali out of the car. Aljun gives the umbrella to Anjali to protect herself from the rain and Aljun leaves from there in his car. Anjali was left standing beside the road and she wondered what to do. Anjali stops a taxi and she gets into the taxi and asks the driver to follow Aljun's car. Aljun thinks that does Rishab think that he can kill him and then live peacefully after that, but no, because he will now cross all the limits to make Rishab suffer. Aljun says that Rishab only has some hours to spend with his family and after that, Rishab would have to face Aljun Suryavanshi. Rishab goes to his office and he thinks that he has to keep his family safe from Aljun. His staff comes there and Rishab tells everyone that whenever Aljun comes to the office, then they have to tell him to leave politely and if Aljun did not listen to them, then they can call the police on him. At the Lutra house, Samuel was rushing out and Raki comes there asking that what has happened and why is Samuel in such a hurry. Samuel tells Raki that Aljun came to their house a while ago but he was not allowed to come in. Then he goes to the office so that is why he is quickly going to the office to support Rishab. Raki was shocked that Aljun is still trying to come to them but she asked Samuel not to tell Prita about it and Samuel assures Raki that he will not tell Prita and he leaves the house. Shruti comes there and asks Raki that despite knowing that Aljun is misbehaving with Prita, then why do Raki still likes Aljun so much, even though he creates so many problems for them? Raki tells Shruti that she just wants to keep Prita safe, but she gets weird feelings every time she sees Aljun. Raki says that she blessed Aljun at the party because her aunt told her to do that, but at the same time, she is really worried about Prita. Shruti says that she could not sleep yesterday because she keeps thinking about everything. Shruti says that she gets good vibes from Aljun, but she is not understanding why Aljun behaved like that with Prita. As Raki and Shruti were talking, there was every wind because of the rain, and Raki asked Shruti to close the windows and she would close the door. Aljun, still driving the car in the rain, thinks that he was happy, thinking that he would meet his family today, but that did not happen all because of Rishab. Anjali was also following Aljun's car in the taxi and she hopes that Aljun does not do anything in anger that he will regret later. Aljun thinks that he will not let Rishab make one more mistake and he calls someone on the phone and he asks the person to meet him as he would get there in 5 minutes. Aljun goes to a tournament and he met with a goon called Bitu. Aljun gives money to Bitu and asks him to kill Rishab Lutra. Bitu asks for Rishab's details. And Aljun shows Rishab's photo to Bitu and he also gives Rishab details to him. Aljun says that he is giving Bitu double the amount that he asked for because he wants Rishab to die today. Aljun tells Bitu that Rishab is going to pick his daughter up by 12, so Bitu should kill Rishab when he is going to pick his daughter up. Bitu's friend tells Aljun that why the hurry to kill Rishab today when they can kill him tomorrow. Aljun gets angry and he takes his money and says that he would hire another goon, but Bitu takes the money back and he assures Aljun that the work will be done today and if Aljun give him more money, then it would make Aljun watch how Rishab is being killed on live TV and Aljun leaves after giving Bitu and his friend money to kill Rishab. Aljun thinks that he really wants to watch how Rishab will take his last breath and for that, he has to do something and he calls someone asking if their office is vacant. After the call, Aljun thinks that Rishab is going to die today and half of his revenge will be completed, remaining Prita. Okay guys, in case some people are still not aware that Aljun is Karan and Karan is Aljun, it is one person that is bearing the two names. Aljun is Karan, so will Karan be able to kill Rishab, his own blood brother? So that will be in the next update tomorrow. And I will make sure to see you guys tomorrow in the next update. Bye guys.